Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So recently, I came across a YouTuber who's doing some fantastic inlays, and that has led me down this rabbit hole that I cannot stop working on. We started with some very basic, very simple inlays, and we've progressed into higher complexity, and if you stay tuned to this video, a little later on I'll put his name up so that you can see his fantastic work. Now I'll admit, I'm nowhere near his skill level. However, excuse the pun, but I am closing the gap. This gentleman does a lot of Japanese and Chinese dragons. He does some stuff for businesses. He's just outstanding. I have no affiliation with this gentleman but I like to give recognition for incredible work. So keep watching, and later on I'll give you his name, I'll put it in the text in here somewhere, and you can look him up too. But be careful, you might end up going down the same rabbit hole I went down. Luckily, as I was watching that bit travel around its path, I happened to notice we've got an issue coming right there, the head of that screw. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I really do enjoy reading those. we got better clamping going on here now. She fits. A little CA glue and some extreme pressure. My wife is telling me I didn't need to push that hard on there. But clamping pressure is paramount when you're doing these things. You have to have adequate clamping pressure. So it looks pretty cool, but it wouldn't fit in the female when I cut it out. But I'm not throwing it away, I'm going to make use of it. A little CA glue here, and we'll stick fast, quick fast, in a hurry and put it on the mill as a reminder. Make sure you use the right numbers when you're doing this. So after that little boo-boo, we had to see what we were doing wrong. So we did a test. This time with some MDF. Let's see how we did. I don't think you get much better than that. You're a good boy. Now what would these inlays be if I didn't honor my best friend? Mr. Atlas.
Now when you're cutting these loose, the object is to trim the male off as close to the female as possible without wrecking the base material or the female. So here's a nice little woodland scene. Here's the result done in oak and cedar. Like I said, clamping pressure is paramount. We got to find room for one more here. Thank goodness for a long reach clamp. Gonna have to put it on the other way. In the blink of an eye, they're ready to come off. Not really, that's overnight. So I thought I'd give this thing a little pizzazz and cut the corners off. Not that it doesn't need it. Or not that it does need it. It's pretty fancy without it. Watch that spinning fingernail trimmer change colors. Cherry gets hot. Oh, I almost forgot. The YouTuber's name? It's Broen Wood. You know, there's almost something magical about what happens when you apply the finish to a piece of wood. Look at how those two different wood species pop with some simple rub-on polyurethane.
Well, we're coming to the end of another one, and like I always say, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe you learned something from this video. Give me a like, a share, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment. I like to read those. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.